Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here with legendary mortgage broker Keaton Kirkwood of KB Mortgages, and we are going to be talking about all things commercial multifamily purchasing next week at Mobile Mastermind. So the link to register is that below. Keaton's going to talk about how to obtain commercial financing. I'm going to be talking about how to analyze multifamily deals, acquire them, build partnerships with them, rent them out, ongoing management. So we're just going to do a little bit of a chit chat about the mortgage end of the transaction. So Keaton, what can you tell us about commercial financing? Well, commercial financing is one of the more industry or interest, interesting types of financing in the industry because they look at the asset above the borrower. So it can open up doors that are often closed off for many investors when you max out on properties or you're asset heavy, but lacking in income. Yeah, I, I totally I totally get that. I mean, I've bought apartment buildings too, especially once I reached enough houses that the bank was starting to look at me and say, hey, you've got too many houses um, on the personal side. So is there a limit to the amount of commercial financing you can get in the same way that you start tapping out in residential? Not at all. If anything, the more you own, the more they want to lend to you. So actually, as you gain momentum, things get easier. Really? So that's probably why, you know, a lot of investors head into the, the commercial multifamily space once they're kind of tapped out in residential. It's the next logical evolution. Now, for people out there that are listening who are just thinking about starting investing, are there people that just start with commercial multifamily financing? Absolutely. Um, I have a, a number of clients that have gone straight into projects that are either multifamily, so more than five units, or right. commercial assets. So often we'll see business owners step into the commercial space before they ever think of rental properties. So it's a there's no barrier to entry for a new investor. It's just typically things are a little bit bigger and a little more expensive. So you do need to have some capital. Right. Well, the reason a business owner does that is because any any you know, savvy business owners keeping most of their income in the corporation. So it's harder to get personal residential financing if you're going to get into real estate investing. Now, as far as as far as the commercial multifamily financing piece goes, obviously, it's complex and people want to learn about it. They want to learn how to use it to their maximum advantage. What are some of the key things people are going to expect to hear from you in more detail next week at Mogul Mastermind? Uh, how you can put less than 20 percent down on an investment wow. property. Oh, I want to hear about get that. More than a 40 year amortization. More. OK, um, you got my there, attention. There's some really cool things you can do with commercial. It's also more friendly to those more complex investors that want to raise capital. While residential lending is very critical and conservative on, say, a joint venture structure in the commercial world, that's life. Commercial is more of a business approach as opposed to residential is more of a you want to buy a home to live in. OK. Right, right. So. If you're ready to start treating your real estate investing more like a business, commercial multifamily, they think about it like a business too. And so it's it's all about the deal analysis, the merits of the property's performance, and the business plan. Is that a is that kind of a good way to sum it up? Yeah, hundred percent. They care more about your experience in the asset than they do about how big your T four is. Totally. One of the other things I want to cover though is there's actually some for existing commercial owners, for people that own properties already, there are some yeah icebergs out at sea that we need to be aware of and we need to be worried about. So one of the things I want to highlight is some of the risks that are coming up due to the changes in the market and effective strategies to mitigate them. Oh, that's going to be important information as well. Well, Keaton, I, I don't want to keep you too long. I know that you have been taking your time to craft a very, very thoughtful presentation and you're going to be going deep into these questions. So again, guys, next Wednesday, Check the link below, get registered, show up. Keaton's going to be talking about the financing end of the transaction. I'm going to be talking about where you can find these great multifamily deals, how to analyze them, how to acquire them, how to manage them on an ongoing basis. So Keaton, thanks for popping in today. And uh, we'll see you, all of you guys next Wednesday. Looking forward to it.